Hello, humans. Master Generflex here, and today I'm going to be going over something I've been testing because I thought it'd be funny. Um, pretty much, there's there's never been really a deck like tier one that uses the original polymerization, and this isn't another one of them. But I wanna I wanted to try like a semi generic kind of cookie cutter uh, deck that can use fusion because you can do the same with synchros and XEs but really like when you use fusion it's like it has to be that deck to be good maybe one day they'll fix that but it'll take a while but this is the closest thing I could do to it um, uh, this is Stark Fusion it's a Destiny Hero Fusion deck and it's about fusion summoning yay uh, so let's get into the deck, and I'll explain these card choices. Uh, we got three Malicious. If you're playing any Destiny Heroes ever, you're playing three Malicious. Uh, it's literally the best one. Um, three Celestial. Um, this one's not very useful to turn one, but like once you clear your hand with all the fusion summoning and making a board, you're going to have like... No, you're going to have no hand, and once you do, you just benefit. Um, draw two cards. Don't even have to pay a card of your own advantage. Just draw two cards. Like, refresh some of your advantage you lost, um, or just get yourself more advantage. Um, it's very, very good. Um, also, a level four is nice, so you can uh, make the one rank four in this deck. Two Dynamite Guy. This guy is uh, literally the only other Destiny hero that I ever consider playing in this deck. Um, he's not even that great. It's just the utility you use with him uh, when fusion summoning is actually really good. Um, there, you can. Uh, I'll go over some of the plays soon, but it's really, really good when you're doing well. But it's just not a card you that's good on its own, like at all. Um, one Shadow Mist uh, for Arm Knight and Greffer, or Fusion Summon to just search out Destiny Heroes, and yeah. Uh, one Plague Spreader, if you're playing Malicious, you're playing Plague Spreader, uh, not just because of Synchros, but to actually put a Malicious back in your deck when you have one in your graveyard. That's his main reason. Um, for three Shadals, I got two Beasts and one Dragon. Uh, the point, um, like, once you get past the Destiny Heroes, which are your, your first fusion material, the rest you just want fusion materials that kind of pay for themselves. And like, Malicious does that. Uh, when you use Armageddon Knight, it's usually going to be a plus one, so it pays for itself. Um, the dragon the dragon can pay for itself if you go in second. The beast just draws you a new card. The Malicious banishes it out. This pays for itself next turn. Is kind of like pseudo grave advantage. Uh, Shadow Mist pays for itself. Like fusion summoning is expensive. It is the l one of the least effective ways of summoning an extra deck monster. But um, when you do it with a cards that pay for themselves and b you, c some I noticed about fusions is like they contribute to an engine like this deadly guy actually contributes to your deck it doesn't it's not like just like a monster that's it it actually like gets you further into your deck and it makes you gives you other plays and is pretty generic for how to summon it so it's really good like i love extra deck monsters that don't just like sit there and stun i love extra deck monsters that help the main deck too and that's like really really good so uh... that's the sh for the shadals um, i'm even playing a window just for those rare occasions where you can use it uh... two arm knight one greffer uh... Er i was thinking originally maybe three arm knight would be better but the greffer with the malicious is sometimes very important and like if i play if i play malicious in a deck i, I it's like i almost I actually just never want to not have Greffer in my deck um, because of the Rota, like being able to uh, save your hand when you draw on them too malicious, like ditch a malicious, send a plague, make at least some plays. Uh, it really helps out. Um, t uh, three Black Sheep. Now you don't use this for anything except to search polymerization, and 
people were asking me a while, well, why not play Fusion Sage? It's dark, it's a fusion material, and it's a lure target, and if I actually wanted to, I'm like playing technically four copies. I can search this that sends darks to my grave. It's a dark on its own, so if I use it, I can just allure it if I don't want to use it. Um, or I could use it as a fusion material. Um, it's like it's it's just like it has more synergy than fusion sage and it's not another spell because you can't fuse with spells um, with a normal fusion so like that's that's really why I like it um, it's like it's another thing you can fuse with which is what really matters um, now this is kind of interesting one trump witch uh, it kind of looks like a normal summon of black sheep but also, you could just activate and scale and just fusion summon. Um, contributes well to Void Ogre plays. Um, if you usually you can make good boards even better with this, but if not, you can just normal summon it, search polymerization, or grab it back from your graveyard. So, uh, yeah, it has utility too. It's a dark. Um, yeah, it's pretty strong. And Farfa, because literally like 95% of my games I summon Beatrice, and there's no reason to use a Beatrice that can't be defensive as well as offensive like after I send my one thing they're going to try to kill Beatrice and a lot of the times they think oh you're just playing Beatrice to dump something you're not gonna have an actual Farfa and then you Farfa them and it's really good but yeah that's it for the monsters 21 a lot of them pay themselves a lot of it's just a fusion summon a lot of it's just a play um, and like I'm going to go into the spell and I'm going to kind of explain how polymerization works in this deck. 3 allure, draw power, 3 fusion recovery, get back polymerization, get back monsters. Makes It's a plus 1 after you fusion summon, which is very helpful. And you can break even and go plus 1 if you use this for a when you fusion summon, which fusion summoning on its own is supposed to be an egg too. Um, 3 polymerization. Okay, so let's count how many copies of polymerization I have in my deck one two three four five six seven eight eight copies and uh... nine ten eleven ways to get polymerization and six well technically eight draw cards uh... well nine ten eleven that's insane i you the, I experienced this with Gym Knights when I was testing them, and I think they're still terrible. I don't think there's a way to ever make that deck like good enough to be... I don't think you can do much with that deck without one hard-to-search card and one unsearchable card. It's the only way the deck does well. That's, that's not good. But, um... So, all these ways to get to polymerization, all these polymerization substitutes, you cannot play without fusing. Like, that's why I play the Dark Referent here, too. Is like, if you legitimately cannot fusion summon, you can at least make a basic bitch play with, like, Beatrice and maybe a Synchro if you have the nuts. But, like, you have to get fusion quickly. And, like, Gem Knight fusion, they're, like, like, 20, you have. I think this deck has a 20 something percent chance to not open a fusion. Um, but the Gym Knight deck has like a 30 percent chance to open Gym Knight fusion without like playing into the void and carded like stupid crap. That's ridiculous. So I just eat, and I also have a few ways to play without like getting to the fusion like I can just like keep dumping beast with arm knight or graph or to slowly just draw into the, my card so I can keep my advantage up so when I do fuse it's like going to be a lot more powerful and possibly just win me the game so that's that uh, three destiny draw just another alert target for D heroes except you send them to the grave which is nice two avidity like you you think I want to play three because you banish like an average game I'll have like 12 dark monsters banished um, and I'm like 
Man, three sounds good, and then you draw two of them in your opening hand, and like, oh, fucking kill me. That's why I only play two. One Kenki, just to search this. One Twin Twister, because I don't like back row, and, like, helps empty your hand for Void Ogre plays. And one Rota, to search, uh, these seven cards. Like, when I have Grover in hand, sometimes I will actually search that. Like, you can dump this, send a beast. Uh, search a D hero, then draw one if you do your chain right, which is really good. Um, and for traps, two paradox fusion. This is a solemn judgment. Well, except for normal summons. It's a solemn judgment that you banish a fusion monster you control to solemn judgment, special summon, spell, or trap, and your monster comes back from being banished in two turns. So, uh, it's. It's, uh, I don't know how to explain it. It's really good. It's, like, very fantastic. Um, I was originally just going to play Scolding, but with, like, this card, you have to actually just, like, set your dead spells or set spells just to, um, trigger him. So it, like, wasn't online 90% of the time. And, uh, Solemn Strike doesn't negate Regeki. So... And Solemn Strike doesn't negate Solemn Strike. So it's like, it wasn't doing good enough, but this was actually fantastic. It's, I wanted, I wanted to hit the, th the things that this hit were more important. This can't negate monster effects, but it's fine because it negates almost everything relevant else. So that's what really matters. Um, like, I don't care about your normal summoning, um, if you're not going to make a play with it. And, like, your monster effects can only get you so far. Like, sometimes you just need to clear the board with Regeki. You need to strike my play and having this really good. Um, and that's pretty much it for the main deck. Uh, for the extra deck. Three Deadly Guy. This is the guy I like. This guy contributes to your engine while at the same time being an extra deck monster. You can discard a card... Send a Destiny Hero from your deck to your graveyard, and all Destiny Heroes can do under attack for each uh, D Hero um, in your graveyard. So, what what I do a lot is like um, I'll fusion summon this, fusion summon this, which isn't that hard. Um, discard a card, send a Destiny Hero, destroy a card, and one of them I sent is going to be Dynamite Guy. So, for my I get to my end phase, I'll Dynamite Guy make this guy bigger. On their next turn, I can destroy another one of their cards. Kind of like uh, the Zodiac Beast. Uh, it's a spell speed to destruction, except it doesn't even have to be face up, which I like. Uh, well, I explain this. And this guy, he does. He, you can actually special get his effect without uh, fusion summoning it, but like whenever he's summoned, you target a level 4. Um, I think it can be lower, but target a level 4 or lower and. Uh, do burn damage in your grave equal to that destiny hero. That's not important. When his attack is different from his original attack, you can uh, destroy a card on the field, and then his attack be goes back to his original attack, which is really good. Um, for the fusion, the non-destiny hero fusions, we got Star Venom. This card's stupid. This card's absolutely insane. I had a game where... Some guy thought, oh, I opened the nuts. He had, like, Nister, Dweller. And I'm like, okay, uh, this was when I was testing Gofu and uh, another card. So I special Gofu, normal, uh, whatever, and then activate this uh, in my scale. You star Venom, copy his Nister, and literally break his field. And it was stupid. Like, it was absolutely insane. Um, I really like this card. I think this card's fantastic for a fusion. It's exactly what fusion monsters need. It's a card that's very generic, but very powerful. The only thing is, like, if it didn't say on the field, it, being on the field makes it to where you're just better off at being, like, a synchro monster or an XZ monster, but um, if it said two non-token dark monsters, this would literally be the perfect fusion the step in the perfect right direction. So the window I was talking about earlier, sometimes you have shit all sometimes it's just better to make a window and just sit on it, or like you made a huge board and you just want to end with an extra like stun card. That's a really good one. 
the pilgrim for Beatrice uh, also triggers this, and that's pretty cool. Because this doesn't special summon it back in two turns, it just returns it. So, kind of like how Omega is. Uh, for the Synchros, Void Ogre, Stardust, and Charge Warrior. This is for Regeki. It would be Omega, but literally this deck loses very hard to Regeki. Because you have to go all out, you have to empty your hand, so you can use this next turn. And, like, you're just fusion summoning, so you're not going to have much of a hand. So, like, when they Regeki, you, you want to have an answer to it. And Charge Warrior, it's a level 6. You draw 1, get you deeper in your deck, and then you can make a rank 6. Which is Ptolemy or uh, Beatrice. Beatrice is the best. Sometimes I make this for an extra fusion. But 99% of the time it's Beatrice. Digusto Emerald for the 1 rank 4. Like I said, it's, it's expensive to fusion summon. So you want to uh, get your resources back as much as possible. And then a Pure Light. I was originally... Uh, playing a small Lunalite engine, but there's actually just no reason for it to be in here at all now, unless uh, I decide to main deck Soul Charge again, which I'm not. Um, yeah, it's useless. Pretty good. Uh, side deck actually doesn't matter. Like, I have mass changes without Dark Law, which is pretty good, and uh, this card actually I might keep in the side deck. Uh, it's pretty much, uh, I don't know how to describe it, It's it's kind of like a dimension barrier for Synchro and XCs if you control a fusion or tribute or I think ritual and it's pretty much like a dimension barrier for more than one turn and those Synchros and XCs cannot attack and their effects are negated so it's kinda like a it's a little more powerful than a dimension barrier but it's like it only works against certain things so that's why uh, I cite it Otherwise, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you all for watching. This has been a longer video, sorry, but it's it's like a... It literally, when you look at this deck, it makes no sense. Um, and it doesn't make sense even when playing it, but it works. Um, but thank you all for watching, and remember, Master Dinner Flex will take your soul.